Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless everyone. May God bless everyone today this time. I thank God in the name of Jesus for giving me an opportunity to come before you. So I am very happy to see every one of you here today this morning. Hallelujah. Today the Holy Spirit will speak into your hearts I believe. So God wants to share with you something. Because God is going to bless you. How many of you believe that you are going to be blessed today this morning? Hallelujah. I welcome Sister Kimberly. Uh, sister, uh, I see many, many, many names. I welcome everyone, those who are watching this uh, video. So today God will, will speak into your hearts. God will bless you. Today morning when I was reading the Bible, Holy Spirit gave me my eyes fell into the words um, Proverbs 3. 10. Hallelujah. That means God is going to bless. God is going to bless your parents everything. God is going to give you surplus in everything. He is going to give you plenty in everything. You should not lack in anything because the God is with you. So before coming into this video, let us uh, let, uh, close our eyes and pray. I welcome Sister Kimberly, Sister Remia Rai. So God will bless you, every one of you, those who are watching this family. Because I am sure that when the where the word of God is preached, those who believe, they will be blessed. Hallelujah. So let us close our eyes. Father, uh, thank you Lord for your great presence which you have released here. The anointing you have released here. I submit before you, I surrender before you, speak through me, let it be a blessing to everyone, open their hearts so as to receive the word of God. Let the word bring forth blessings, everything in their life, in their family. Give me a revelation prophecy, may the power of God be released. Thank you Lord for everything. Thank you Lord for healing many people. Thank you Lord for healing uh, psoriasis. Thank you Lord for healing uh, allergy. Thank you Lord for uh, blessing everyone. Only the name of Jesus be exalted. Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. So um, uh, I welcome uh, brother uh, Sylvester Joseph. I am happy to see your name. So today uh, God is going to bless everyone of you. How many of you can say Amen? Maybe your life has no meaning. I have heard many testimonies uh, in, uh, in the Facebook. In YouTube, I have heard many testimonies that this live program, this live video and my videos in you, that have been uploaded in, in YouTube, many people are blessed. I heard many testimonies. So um, I thank God for that. So today, uh, God will is going to bless you. How many of you say that, believe that uh, God is going to bless you? You know one man in the Old Testament, his name was Obedodo. He was not a worshipper of God. But David the king put the Ark of Covenant in this Obedodom's house in order to escape from the uh, sin from which God comes. If David, David was afraid that he might be hurt or he might be wounded because um, he saw that the, the other person was killed. He was killed by the when the presence of God came. That person who touched the Ark of Covenant, that person was, um, he, he died on the spot. So David was afraid, so he took the Ark of Covenant and placed it in another man's house. But that person, um, on that day, from where, from when that Ark of Covenant was placed in that person, Obedodom's house, from that day onwards, this man, Obedodom, was blessed by God. Every day he was bless, getting blessings. He didn't, I am telling you, he didn't pray to God. He didn't ask God, God give me a blessing. He never expected the blessing of God. But this David, in order to escape from God's punishment, this King David, he placed his Ark of Covenant in Obed's own house. So, by 
His grace, by God's grace, I am saying, this man obeyed the Lord without praying. He was blessed. Every day he was the blessed. He was blessed by God, by God because of the Ark of Covenant. So in your Bible, you might have seen this word. You might have read this word, Proverbs three ten many times. Somebody of you might have by hearted it even in the Sunday school. or in, in when you go for meetings you might have heard this word but today this word is going to be activated in your life hallelujah that word is so shall thy barns filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine hallelujah how many of you have heard this so shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy process shall burst out with new wine it is from proverbs 3:10 <laughs> it is, that word is in your bible even before you were born that word was in your bible that word is still in your bible maybe you have read that many times but today this morning the god who blessed obey the lord the god who blessed abraham the god who blessed all the saints in the bible is going to bless you with this word how many of you say amen hallelujah because the word has power the word will penetrate into you your family into yourself and it will bring forth plentiness it will bring forth abundance hallelujah so so shall thy barns be filled with plenty So today this time I am telling you you need not lack finance you need not to count your money because since you are a child of God God will provide you everything for your needs you need not to count maybe you have been counting the money will it be enough for my needs you may be thinking but today this time I am telling you that you will lack nothing you will lack nothing because god is going to bless you god is going to bless you abundantly so your barns will be with plenty hallelujah your safe almara everything will be plenty your cupboard will be plenty your refrigerator will be plenty plenty with fruits plenty with other rice everything vegetables everything you should not your cupboard will be plenty with clothes because it is the god who is going to bless you Hallelujah So today this time God is going to bless you plenty which you cannot count You know Abraham was a man he was a devoted man of God he lacked every, he had everything but he lacked one inner nobody to inherit his property nobody to inherit his wealth So he cried to God one day God told him that I am going to bless you like the stars of the sky i am going to bless you like the um, uh, sand of the sea can you count the sand of the sea can you uh, count the stars of the sky likewise god is going to bless you how many of you say amen likewise god is going to bless you that you cannot count hallelujah you are going to uh, because the word has power you are going to bless be blessed and you cannot count your blessings hallelujah He prayed for Abraham. Prayed for one child. God give me one child. I have much wealth, but nobody to inherit my property. Give me one child. But what God told, I am going to bless you abundantly with, with by that you cannot count it. That's what the word is saying. That so shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with the new wine. There was a widow. she was about to die with her son and she was starving when the prophet elisha came hallelujah when the prophet elisha came he said what you have and i have nothing but only a, a little oil then give me a jar the prophet told elisha the prophet to give me a jar and what happened he didn't uh, stop running out it 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 began to flow until all the jars were filled so today this kind of miracles you will see this kind of miracles you will see silverstar jasoprada i see plentiness in your life 
what you like i, I see you are um, going through many hurdles many struggles um, financial burdens in your life uh, i see I, I i see a dispute in your uh, life it seems to me like an industrial dispute hallelujah uh, god is saying that um, you are going that dispute is going to be settled hallelujah i see that uh, i see it as an industrial dispute hallelujah industrial dispute means uh, something related with um, finance so you are uh, your dispute is going to be settled this morning and god is going to be uh, going to fill you in pl with plentiness you are going to see the riches of the lord i see you are going through many financial crises but god is going to bless you god is going to give you a new work god is giving you a new car i see like that hallelujah so god is taking away all your struggles and going to bless you so right now if you believe you receive the holy spirit hallelujah the fire anointing is released right now brother silverster joseph you are going to speak in tongues from now onwards you are going to be blessed by the lord and that blessings that the power of the holy spirit is coming upon you let the let the fire anointing come upon you and you are going to be right now be filled in the name of jesus you You receive the Holy Spirit. Or shakalam darama. God is extending your boundaries. Open your mouth wide and speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Open your mouth wide and speak in tongues. You are going to, you are going to prophesy. You are going to speak in tongues. You are going to speak many languages. Brother Sylvester Joseph. God is widening your territory. Your, your in disputes are settled down. Fire in the name of Jesus. O Ramana Shalam Dairi. Be courageous. Holy Spirit is saying brother Sylvester Joseph Holy Spirit is saying be courageous it is going to happen the beloved ones are coming back to your home God, who have left you they are coming back i see that settlement in every area holy bashala mana be courageous holy spirit is saying sir. so god is filling you with his spirit hallelujah hallelujah so um, i am thankful to everyone those who are watching one word i have to tell you i was uh, sharing with you from the word proverbs 310 but um, one one more word hagai 290 hagai the book of hagai 290 it says is the seed still in the barn as at the wine the fig tree the pomegranate and the olive tree have not yielded fruit but from this day i will bless you from this day hallelujah god is saying from this day i will bless you maybe you are 20 years old you are 40 years old you are 60 years old or 80 years old but god is saying is the seed still in the barn as at the wine the fig tree the pomegranate and the olive tree I have not eaten fruit as it not eaten fruit hallelujah but from this day i will bless you maybe you are not having any blessings till this time you have grown this much old this till this time you may be crying oh lord i am growing old i have no spouse no nobody to marry me my married life is ruined my business is uh, everything not running smooth i am going through many crises i am in the wilderness for many years hallelujah you may be crying like that your god is asking oh you are not having a, you are not being fruitful yet but today i am going to bless you the word has power and that blessings will be plenty you read hagai 319 with proverbs 3 and 10 hallelujah hagai 3 290 and proverbs 3 10 these two verses are connected god is from, god is saying i am from today i am going to bless you how many of you say amen
because if god says anything god told abraham that god, abraham i am going to bless you and he was blessed god told abraham that everyone who bless you will be blessed everyone who curse you will be cursed so god is faithful in his promises if you believe what god says that will happen in your life it is going to happen hallelujah it is uh, going to happen valeri i i can see one name valeri you are you are uh, going through many financial problems only just for your needs i see you are you are you are just for you are getting only just for your needs god is asking are you still in need are you lacking but today god is going to bless you god is opening the door for you i see you uh, um, teaching something like tuition class i see something like that i i do not know whether i see a tuition class you taking classes i see you in a uh, te- teaching to some people so god is going to bless you god is going to bless you financially god is going to bless you in every area of your life i see the god's protection over you i see before this um, year ends you will see the blessing before the new year comes you will see the blessing of the lord it is going to happen hallelujah so um, god is going to bless you in every area of your life hallelujah so what i was uh, saying is that maybe you you, uh, you might have heard one man of god from africa i do not know from which country he is, uh, he is from he once visited india uh, he is a man of god he was uh, starving and he, he lacked food and his mother was working in a, another rich man's house and she was the maid servant there in that house and the man used to give uh, food to his dog in a nice plate but to this servant and to her dog and to her son barna his name is barna blessing food was given on the floor so this man of god barna blessing said i heard from his testimony that he used to take the food from the above part because it was uh, put on the floor not on a plate but the dog in that house was given food in a nice plate but you know you know you look into the um, uh, facebook profile of bernard blessing or look into the website of bernard blessing you can see his testimony he is some he is from some any some other country from africa so god has blessed this bernard blessing and now he is uh, you know he, he starved when he was uh, when he was uh, in school he had only one shirt he had only one shorts and he had no shoes and he used to wash the clothes after he come back from the school and before getting it dry he used to wear this wet shirt and shorts and go the next day to school so it was going like that but today god has blessed him he is now sponsoring 6000 children throughout the world he is promoting 6000 children for their educations throughout the world because god blessed him abundantly and he is saying that i never knew these children i sponsor 6000 children from many parts of the world from different countries but i never knew these children hallelujah likewise what you are lacking god is going to give you abundantly that you cannot count how many of us abraham lacked a child but he could not count his blessings maybe you are like lacking finance maybe you are lacking uh, the love from your family but god is going to bless you that which you cannot even thought you cannot even count hallelujah so today is the um, day of your blessing today is the day of a blessing i see a great change is coming in your life it is to you the world holy willock sister i see a great change is coming in your life you have been hearing words promises you have kept many promises in your life 
But uh, Holy Spirit is saying that God has seen your heart and God is going to bless you and a great change is coming in your life. I see the finance opening for you. I see in uh, hallelujah. Uh, I see you in a restaurant. Multi cuisine restaurant. I see you. I see you in a restaurant. Uh, I see you feeding many children. Uh, I see you um, uh, giving uh, uh, people, uh, helping people, poor people. I see you like that. So God is going to bless you which you cannot count. Your life is going to change because it is so shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy process shall burst out with new wine. You receive that word. It is going to happen in your life. Hallelujah. Shalom uh, Many international uh, uh, journeys are coming ahead for you. Many international connections are coming to you. Hallelujah. The property um, that has been um, sealed is going to be released. You are going to get back what that has been sealed, what that has been under, in the hands of the authorities. You are going to get that property. So finance is open for you. You just step by faith and you will see. Hallelujah. So God is saying today this morning, have you not been blessed yet? You have been reading Bible. You have been going to church. You have been meditating. You have been listening to many live videos. You have many prophecies with you. To everyone I am saying. But God is asking. Have you not been blessed yet with these, all these words? But today I am going to bless you. Hallelujah. That's what Haggai 2.19 says. Is the seed still in the barn? As at the wine, the fig tree, the pomegranate, and the olive tree have not yielded fruit, and the olive tree have not yielded fruit, but today, this day, I will bless you. God is asking to you, you have been hearing the live videos, you have many prophecies, you are reading Bible, you are going to church, you are doing many, many good things for the Lord, but have you not been blessed yet? But today God is going to bless you. How many of you say? How many of you say Amen? Hallelujah. You know, I received Jesus Christ as Savior in 2006. From that day onwards, I lack nothing because God is my provider. God is providing me for everything for my needs. I never count a, a, a anything in my life because I know that God is the provider. He is providing me everything, every day. He is providing me in every second for me. He is giving me good health. So I should thank God. I am not asking God, Lord, I want this and that. But I am thanking God. I thank God, God, you have given me good health. I thank God, you have opened everything for me. You have opened the doors for me. You have blessed me with family. You have blessed me with ministry. You have blessed me with finance. You have blessed me in every area. So I thank you. How many of you can say thanks to your God? So many persons are today, this morning, are lying in the um, hospitals. They are patients. Somebody are bystanders. Their beloved are in the hospital. Somebody are going to see the lawyer today this time. Somebody are going to see the doctors to have a consultation. Somebody is going to see the sub-inspector because they have a case. Somebody is are there in, the, in front of the medical store to purchase um, the medicines because they are not having good health. They are taking medicines. But thank God because God has blessed you to watch this live video. God has given you patience. God, you, God has given you much time and patience to watch this live video. God has blessed you so you can read Bible with much patience. You can have much patience and you can meditate the word of God. So God has blessed you. So how many of you thank God for that? Hallelujah. Look at what Abakuk the prophet said. There he had everything, but now he lacked, uh, but now he had nothing. But he's saying, Yet yeah, I will rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. So, God is going to bless such kind of persons who 
worship God, who are happy even in their trials, who are, who are even in their miseries, who they praise God. God is going to bless such persons. Hallelujah. Jenny Fool, sister, um, I see um, the door open for you. Jenny Fool, sister, I see um, the door open for you. Um, I see, I hear a word clinic. Hallelujah. I'm asking you whether you are going to see any doctor um, for any treatment, something like that. I heard a word from the Lord clinic. But the Holy Spirit is saying that you are going to be healed. You need not to go to the clinic. God has seen your heart and God is going to bless you. The fire of the Lord is coming upon you and you receive that healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is going to bless you. Whatever that you have in your body, I see some pimples like that on your skin. God is going to heal you right now in the name of Jesus. God is going to bless you. Sister Jana full. God is healing you right now. You need not to see any doctor. You need not to go to the clinic because God is, God is healing you right now. Receive that healing. Receive that healing. God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus. You might be you might have thought, oh I might go I might go to the clinic and the doctor will heal. But no, God is saying that I am releasing the power of healing right now. You receive that healing. No more pain in your body. The healing is coming. Not because of medicines. But it is a God who said that. I will take away the diseases from you. So God is healing you right now. Receive that healing. Hallelujah. To everyone those who are watching the, uh, this live video. God is releasing his fire anointing. He is breaking the curses. He is breaking the curses. Hallelujah. The fire anointing is breaking the curses. The struggles are being moved, um, taken away and blessings are coming into your house. There is abundance in everyone's family. You are, you are going to be blessed. Hallelujah. It is like as if you are in a church. In a, in a church, your pastor will minister. Likewise, when you watch this live video, you are blessed because God, the same God is releasing his anointing today through this live video. Hallelujah. Shalama Ramdaremi. Be courageous. Holy Spirit is telling to everyone, be courageous because I am going to bless you. Till this time, you have not seen any blessing, but from today onwards, you are going to be blessed. Your ministry is going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Your ministry is going to be blessed. Your family is going to be blessed. Your children are going to be blessed. God is going to give you a blessing in abundance that you cannot count. Hallelujah. It will be plenty that it is going to be overflowing. Hallelujah. The, all the jars overflow. All the jars were overflowed with oil. Likewise, it is going to overflow. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Um, a meeting is to be held. And that meeting will uh, confirm uh, your status. Holy Spirit is saying, I do not know to whom I am saying, but Holy Spirit is saying, uh, to somebody who is watching this live video, a meeting is held today and in that meeting a, a decision will be taken that you are being appointed as the right person. Hallelujah. You have been appointed as the right person. So if anyone is saying that uh, today I have a meeting, you receive that because it is going to happen today. So I am going to pray for you. The person God is uh, uh, taking all the present struggles from your family, all the financial crisis from your family. I see the light shining upon your fi family. I see the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon your family. The God who blessed Obedodo, 
the God who blessed David, the God who blessed Abraham, the God who blessed all the saints in the Bible is going to bless you abundantly that you cannot count. Hallelujah. So I am going to pray for you. How many of you say that you are blessed today this morning? Hallelujah. So this live video will bring a blessing to you, I believe. So I am, I am going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Father, uh, open, open the inner eyes of everyone so as to believe in the word of God. I read the, let us close our eyes. I read the verse, Proverbs 3.10 and Agai 2.19. You have said that the word has life. It won't return void without accomplishing its purpose. So, you have said that you are going to bless today. It is not a person, not a man who said, but it is the Almighty God said that, but today I am going to bless you. Let everyone, those who are watching this live media, be blessed from today, from today. Hallelujah. A promotion. Cheryl Colandine sister. Cheryl Colandine story sister. I see. I When I looked at your name. Holy Spirit said. A promotion. A promotion in your career. I, I feel the presence of fire. In my body. When I said the word promotion. I, I feel the presence of fire in my body, a promotion in your career. Hallelujah. Dori bana shala bena hindi risi. Hallelujah. Rabba handari. So God is saying, uh, be where you are. Do not run away. The God who blessed Haga. Who told Aga to return to the back to the Sarah's house? The Aga who ran away from Sarah's house was stopped by the angel of the Lord in the wilderness and told her to go back and be submissive to Sarah. The same God is saying, Go back. Go back. Hallelujah. It is to you, Sister Charai. I do not know. It is to you, Sister Charai. Call and on story. Holy Spirit is saying, go back. And be submissive because God has to do something. Maybe in, front, in your past church. Maybe it is in your in the church where you have taken baptism. Go back, Holy Spirit is saying, I am going to bless you. Or maybe in your family, I do not know. But this uh, prophetic word is to you, Sister Sarai, that you go back because God wants to do something great in your family. God wants to do something great in your family. God wants to do something great in your ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I am going to pray for everyone. O Shakaram Diristenebe. An immediate blessing is coming to you. An immediate blessing is coming to you. Hallelujah. So the doors are open for you. Hallelujah. The doors are open for you. An immediate blessing is coming to you. Or is Shalamana Hindaristine. God is going to bless every Lord. I pray for everyone. I pray for everyone, those who are watching this live video. Not a single person should live without a blessing. Because it is the word. God, it is you who said. I read this in this live video that Lord, you said in the book of Agai 2:19 that from today you are going to be blessed. Let it happen in everyone's life. Hallelujah. Let it happen in everyone's life. Those who are li li seeing this live video. Let me hear the testimony. Let me hear testimony that God blessed from this day. 
today this thursday friday 10 pm est 7:30 am this day from this time onwards a blessing coming to you in the name of jesus hallelujah we mashallah mana hidere me international connections coming to you mark noha international connections coming to you i see the apostolic anointing upon you i see god is visiting your family and god is everything putting in the right position a restoration in your family i mark no i see a restoration i hear a word of restoration i see the god anointing you hallelujah glory shala hindari singh elama the new new john about brother what is it is saying that many many people are going to call you for meetings i see many john about brother many telephone calls are coming to you many people are inviting you within your place and outside your place hallelujah many people are calling for meetings hallelujah Oh, I see invitation coming to you. Hallelujah. I see um, abundance of water. I do not know whether there is um, uh, you are lacking water. I do not know whether in, in the place where you are staying there is uh, no water but God is giving me showing me water. Yes, it is the flow of Holy Spirit. it is the flow of, i feel mm, the anointing anointing release right now you receive the power those who have not uh, received to everyone those who are watching this live video those who are not uh, receive the holy spirit now receive the holy spirit those who are speaking in tongues you pray for interpretation of tongues god is filling you with many languages god is um, giving you the inter- the gift of interpreting Hallelujah shikalam diri bona o namana singeni be immediate placement immediate placement o rishala mana be courageous god is saying o shakana dai be courageous holy spirit is saying i am going to expand you holy spirit is saying o ribala mana dila mana be courageous and i am going to make you placement in another place holy spirit is saying so these things will happen in your life hallelujah So I am going to pray for everyone. God bless everyone. Let the prophetic anointing be released right now. Let everyone, those who are now newly watching, let them be saved right now. Let them receive Jesus Christ as the Savior. Let the power of God be released right now. Let healing take place right now. O Rabba Nava, only the name of Jesus be exalted. Let the doors for ministries be opened. Thank you Lord let finance be open in the name of Jesus thank you Lord for all the clarity in every sense in Jesus name amen hallelujah so i thank everyone those who have been watching this may god bless so from today onwards god is going to bless you from today onwards you are going to bless you are going to be healed right now from today onwards you are going to be blessed in every area in finance in love in blessings family blessings in ministry in every area you are going to be blessed hallelujah so i will be on live in this page same time next week in th- thursday est uh, 10 pm uh, in indian time uh, friday uh, 7:30 am so uh, watch the live video next week also god bless everyone so god is going to bless you jesus name amen